Hello everyone, my name is Leo San and welcome to the second devlog of Master Alchemist VR. For those who are new to these devlogs, Master Alchemist VR is a VR game where the player is a Master Alchemist and starting with four basic elements, the player has to uh, combine them uh, to get new elements and new combinations and so on and so forth. And well, since our last devlog, I have been working on my spare time on this game. Bear in mind that I cannot work full time on this game because I have a real life job. So in the last three weeks, I have uh, optimized and changed a lot of mechanics. There's a lot that has been made to optimize the game and the combination system and also the physics of the elements. The, the first the first thing that you already are seeing is that texts are now multi-language. Uh, on our last devlog, the te texts were only in Spanish, but right now we can select it if we want the text on English or Spanish. So if I change the game to Spanish, right now we can see that all the texts have changed to the Spanish language. Let's switch again to English, so you all can understand. And the second thing that I have added is the um, select locomotion, the locomotion selector. Uh, before we just had teleport and arcing locomotions, but I have added the touchpad slide or joystick slide locomotion. So, uh, and also I have unified the locomotion buttons to, to be the same on the on the last step block. There were separate buttons for every known locomotions. This system has been optimized with this selector. So I, if, I, if I select a teleport system, I cannot I can no longer answering and I can teleport to move around. If I select the slide function I can move around by touching the left touchpad and also um, complementing all the locomotion systems. I have added a snap turn to the locomotion system. So as you can see, if I press the right touchpad, I can snap turn 45 degrees. Also, I have implemented a system to know which elements the player has discovered. I call it the Grimoire. As I said a thousand of times in our devlogs, uh, this is just a placeholder, but it has the basic UI elements that we will need to show the um, properties of the element. So, starting from top to down, we have a basic image about the element, the name of the element, a short description, and where is it obtained from. So, in at the start of the game, the player we will only know the four basic elements. As uh, you can see, there are, there four are in the grimoire, and all of them can be obtained from nature. And so if we mix two elements, we have a new one that we don't already know, that is heat. And if we go to the heat page, we can see that it has been added to the grimoire. Uh, it will have its own image. We have the name, the description, and the recipe we know how to obtain it. Bear in mind that the Grimoire won't show all the recipes that exist for that element. It will show only the recipes that the player has discovered for them. So, if the element, like for example, lava, if we get lava, we get that it can be obtained from fire and earth. But, if we mix a stone with fire, we also get lava. And if we refresh the page, now 
we know that lava can be obtained from fire and earth and fire and stone. In the same way, if there is a basic element that can be obtained from a combination of other elements, it will be shown on the Grimoire too. So if we mix water and air, we got ice. If then we mix ice with fire, we got water. And if we go to the water page, we get that water can be obtained from nature and also by mixing ice and fire. So that's all for this devlog. I hope you like the game and the video. If you like it, please like, subscribe. If you have any constructive criticism, any suggestion or any comment of any kind, please uh, comment down below. I read all the comments of my videos and I also take on account every suggestion or every criticism that it's made to make the game better. So I hope I'll see you on the next devlog and take care.